again today at NBC Circuit because there's something here today that I know people want to see more of. Dodge vans done Japanese style. I shot of this event back in 2016, I think it was, got a lot of attention all around the world, and it even ended up on the Hot Rod Magazine main website, which I think was really cool. But there are a lot of questions in the comments, like for example, you know, what sort of engines do they run, what do they do about brakes, and how do they lower them? So let's just have a walk around the pits and, you know, like what we always do, see what's here. I think this one is probably the coolest car here this weekend. It's by a workshop called, you can barely see it, ICC, which is down in Osaka? Hirakata. Kansai. So it's down in Western Japan and they do modified cars. And this is Mr. Ishii. He's the owner and uh, driver of this car. So he's going to show us some of the details on it. さあ、エンジンはエンジンはみんな何使ってますか最初はエキゾースト。エキゾースト。エキゾースト。エキゾースト。エキゾースト。エキゾースト。エキゾースト。エキゾースト。エキゾースト。エキゾースト。エキゾ
遠いこれすごいすごいなまってますねこれはやけどしても知らんで横で乗ってあ乗りたい We're gonna go for a ride in this later ドジバングランプリーセーフティーカー We're about to have a race. They're doing a Grand Prix start. Something sounds weird. Forgot to mention, most of these cars also do run big radiators, oil coolers, power steering coolers, etc. But as you can see, sometimes it's not enough. Right, let's go for a ride. Just wait. Okay, 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 let's go. So once again, Dodge van in Japan. There's so much room. I'm not used to this much room in a car. This makes a whole lot of sense, and it's not really that fast, and I don't know. But there's just something about this that's just so much fun. We gotta, we gotta go on the drift, Dan. Okay, so this is Mr. Nishizawa. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and we're in the world's first drifting Dajiban because he has. Look at this. He's got a hydraulic handbrake here. And last at the last event, I think it had a locked diff, like a welded diff. But apparently that broke, so it has an open diff now. Oh, here we go. Oh. It's actually pretty good. I guess it helps as you can see, this is the long... What is wrong with this in there? No. Yeah, so this is the long version of the Dodge Van, so it's a bit hard to spin, he said. Yeah. 
So there you go, drifting in a long body Dodge van. Thank you. Thank you. As you could probably hear, he has an open diff in this now, so both of the wheels are spinning up pretty hard on the inside, but it's still plenty of uh, rubber left on these tyres. Drift van. So this is the more serious end of the field, of course, from the last video, Arakaki san's car. And this one here. As you can see, I think they're sort of experimenting with getting more downforce on the back. Fully stripped out. As you can see, they're putting the windows back in. These are, you can remove these. So they take them out. See, those ones over there are missing. They take them out to go racing. And believe it or not, the suspension is made by Nitron. And Nitron is here, but I saw the catalog before. They make suspension for racing cars usually. Look, see, there's a Time Attack Evo, Lotus, right? So this is the same suspension. They actually make uh, a version for Dodge vans, like here in Japan, they assemble the right components. So it's the kind of damper you normally see on a very expensive racing car, and instead it's on this thing. So that's all from today here at the 2018 D-Van GP. As you can see, weird things are still happening in Japan. And if you like this event, the 2016 events video is in the description, or you can put Dodgy Van on Instagram for more photos. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay.